This video is going to go through a very quick review of Euler's method. Euler's method, if you remember, is a way of using differential equations to make an approximation of a function. And it is only a BC topic. So we're going to go through it quickly. We would have done it in class. And once you understand the pattern that kind of happens, it becomes pretty easy, kind of boring. But a lot of just kind of plugging in until you get to the result that you need. So here's a question that I found from one of the AP test prep books where it gave you the differential equation. Um, it, is a, it can be a differential equation in terms of just x in terms of just y or like this one in terms of x and y they have to give you a starting piece of information initial conditions and we know that when we put 2 in for x we get 5 out for y for our function they have to give you a step size uh, the smaller the step size the more accurate you you remain as far as an approximation and as the further out you go the more your approximation weakens and then um, they're going to ask for a particular value and in this case we're getting a very quick one and you'll see that you usually don't take a lot of steps with these we are starting at 2 we're going to take two steps, each a size of 0.5, to get to our approximation of 3. So the way we start this is we always start at our y value. So our y value is 5. And then we're going to add our step size times what we get when we put our point into the slope. So that's what the differential equation does for us. It gives us a slope at that particular value. So I'm going to plug 2 in for x, 5 in for y, using my x and y to get my slope. So when I put it in, it's going to be 5 and you can do a little scratch work off to the side or in your head, minus 2 times 2 is 4, plus 3. We get 1 plus 3, which is 4. And this is going to give me my new y value. So I have 5 plus 0.5 times 4 is 5 plus 2, which is 7, which means I have the point 2.57. Well, I'm not to 3 yet. I want to go one more step. So now I'm starting at a y value of 7. I'm still multiplying my step size times my slope. Now I'm putting these values in for x and y. So I'll have y, which is 7, minus 2 times 2.5 is minus 5, plus 3. So I get 2 plus 3, which is 5. Uh, 0 0.5 times 5 is 2.5. 2.5 plus 7 is 9.5. So that is my point three nine point five, and that's what they were looking for. They wanted an approximation for 3, and using Euler's method with this step size, we get an approximation of 9.5. The next question is not something we did in class when we talked about Euler's, but something that we would have done last year in Calc 1. It's basically another way to make an approximation, and what we're looking at is we're going to use the tangent line to make an approximation. We called this the local linear approximation. And what this is saying is if we can write the equation for the tangent line to the function at the point 2, 5, then we can use that to come up with our approximation for what's happening at f of 3. So tangent line, I need to have an x and a y, which I already do, and I need to have a slope. Well, my slope is going to come from this differential equation that they gave us that I already circled. So we're going to put the point 2, 5 in there and get my slope, which we actually would have already done a little while ago, but I'll do it again just to make sure everything went well. So 5 minus 2 times 2 is 4 plus 3. So we get a slope of 4. We have our point 2, 5. So we can write our tangent line in either uh, point slope or slope intercept. I'm just going to go with point slope because it's very easy. So y minus 5 equals the slope x minus 2. That's my tangent line. If I want to simplify it and get it into slope intercept form, I can. If I want to stop there, I'm already getting full credit. Now we're going to use this tangent line to approximate what happens when I put 3 into my function. So 3 is my x value. So I'm going to say, well, I'm going to have y minus 5 equals 4 times 3 minus 2. 4 times 3 minus 2 is 4. So I have y minus 5 equals 4. So using my tangent approximation, tangent line approximation, I get 9. And you can see these are pretty close. Euler's uh, approximation gave us a value of 9.5 when I put 3 in, and the tangent line approximation gave us a value of 9. And it should be pretty close, because we had a relatively small step size. We only took two steps. And my tangent line should be a pretty good approximation if I'm close to the point of tangency. 3 is not too far away from the point 0.25. So if, if I went further out, took more steps, went further away from that point of tangency, I would weaken my approximation. But here, when we're pretty close to that point, we're, we're uh, we have a pretty decent approximation. So these are the type of things that you'll be asked to do on your quiz. Um, looking now with your quiz with the differential equations applications, we have four total topics that you need to know. You need to be able to use Euler's method, like what we just did here. You need to be able to do exponential growth and decay, reviewing what we did last year, L Newton's law of cooling, and then finally logistic growth. And you'll have three videos, including this one, that will review all of those topics.